how to make ketogenic, reduced carb, starch resistant rice that acts more like a fiber instead of a carb that feeds your gut bacteria. So I just took this off the steamer and how you do it is you just cook your rice as you normally would, but you want to add about, I don't know, two to four tablespoons of just regular coconut oil. And you cook it in your, where, however you want to cook it in your rice cooker or however you cook your rice with your coconut oil. Once it's done, it goes into the fridge. So this will stay in my fridge until tomorrow. You want to leave it in your fridge for at least 12 hours, if not longer. So once it's been sitting in your fridge, the crystals reform into a harder type, a larger type of crystal of, of uh, fiber. It turns into like more like a fiber instead of a carb. And then it goes right through your system. Your body doesn't digest it. It goes into your gut and then your, your bacteria and your gut break it down. So after it's done in the fridge, you can prepare it however you normally would. So what I like to do is I like to fry it up with ghee and butter and maybe a little bit of red pepper flake. And man, it is so good. You're talk I'm talking like buttery, flavorful, you know, a little bit of spice. It's just perfect. And you could put however you want. You could spice it up however you like or not spicy at all and just have it plain with maybe some grass fed butter. So yeah, that's how I do the rice. So I might do my bean recipe and then tomorrow when, because my beans are in the fridge right now, they've been sitting in there overnight, but I probably won't have those until tomorrow. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm not out of ketosis yet and I've been eating this way for three days and I'm going to the bathroom very, very regularly. And before I was adding the starch resistance, I could not go to the bathroom and I was worried that I would not be able to stay on the diet. I really like the diet. I'm losing weight on the diet and I'm not hungry. I have no cravings. Everything's perfect. And the only thing that was wrong was I wasn't getting enough fiber, even though I was eating salads and greens and smoothies and all this stuff and taking psyllium husk, I was not going to the bathroom. I ate one green banana a couple days ago and it really helped me a lot. So yeah, you can get starch resistant uh, foods that help you go to the bathroom uh, from green bananas um, before they start getting sweet. That is, you know, as they be just before they turn yellow or the greener, the better. Actually, you can actually boil green bananas, too, and eat them that way or make little potato chips out of them. So, yeah, that's about it for now. Take care.